in this video i will talk about admittance triangle i will show you the admittance triangle of an inductive circuit and a capacitive circuit so what is admittance triangle admittance triangle is the graphical representation it is the graphical representation of conductance g susceptance b and the admittance y in a right triangle in right triangle this indicates that we will have a right triangle in which one one of its angle will be 90 degree and you will see we will indicate the conductance g in the horizontal axis susceptance b in the vertical axis and the admittance y in the direction of hypotenuse so this will be our admittance triangle okay now let me show you the admittance triangle of an inductive circuit how do we find the admittance of an inductive circuit from the impedance see impedance of an inductive circuit is given by z equal to r plus j xl this is the inductance of a rl series circuit how do we calculate the admittance of it we take the reciprocal of this impedance uh, 1 by z equal to admittance y so y equal to 1 divided by r plus j x l now i will show you how do we determine the admittance of this circuit by rationalizing this expression see we have r plus j x l so i will multiply this with its conjugate r minus j x l in the numerator and the denominator y equal to r minus j x l see here in the denominator i will get r plus j x l into r minus j x l now see you may have known this formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so here you will see we have r plus j x l here we have r minus j x l so if i use this formula i will get r square minus j square x l square where j square will have a value of minus 1 so i will write down r minus j x l divided by r square plus x l square okay so if i decompose the numerator i will get r divided by r square plus x l square minus j x l divided by r square plus x l square see the ratio of resistance to the square of the impedance is known as conductance so i will get y equal to g minus j this ratio of reactance to impedance square will be our susceptance inductive susceptance so here i will get y equal to g minus j b l g minus j b l will be our admittance of an inductive circuit so here if i show you the impedance triangle you will see in the reference axis or in the positive x axis we will take the resistance in this axis we will take the reactance and in this direction we will take the impedance z now see as this is y equal to g minus j b l we will take the conductance in the direction of plus x axis okay and here you will see the imaginary component is negative so i will take b l minus b l in this direction minus b l and g minus j b l is our admittance so this hypotenuse will indicate the admittance so this will be our admittance triangle in the horizontal axis we are representing conductance in the vertical axis we are representing the susceptance in the hypotenuse we are expressing the admittance okay now see here this z will create an angle phi with the reference axis here phi is positive and here you will see phi will be negative and we will calculate the phase angle phi by taking the ratio of minus bl to this susceptance phi equal to 10 inverse minus bl by g and here i have concluded admittance angle this phi will be exactly equal to this phi in magnitude but 
it is it will be positive and it will be negative okay now let me show you the admittance triangle of a capacitive circuit in a rc series circuit we get the impedance equal to r minus jxc okay therefore if i want to take the admittance i will take the reciprocal of this y will be equal to 1 by z equal to 1 by r minus jxc now see if i want to rationalize this expression i will multiply both numerator and denominator with r plus jxc here see if i multiply with r plus jxc in the numerator and the deno denominator i will get r plus jxc divided by r plus jxc into r minus jxc this will be uh, equal to our admittance now see here we have this formula a plus b into a minus b in this form so here you will see i will get a square minus b square here i will get r square minus j square x x c square and the value of j square is no equal to minus 1 so here i will get admittance y equal to r plus j x c divided by r square plus x c square now see if i decompose this equation i will get y equal to r divided by r square plus x c square plus j x c divided by r square plus x c square the ratio of r divided by c this is our impedance z square the ratio of the r to z square is our conductance and the ratio of reactance to impedance square is our susceptance so i can write it like this y equal to g plus j b c and here you will see bc will be positive now see if i draw the impedance triangle of this impedance r minus j x c here you will see in this direction i will take the resistance r in this direction i will take x c and in the hypotenuse i will take z and this z will create a negative angle with the reference axis because i have to rotate in clockwise direction with respect to the reference to get into this impedance and here if i draw the triangle you will see in the horizontal axis we will take the conductance it is plus jbc therefore i will take jbc in the direction of positive imaginary axis so g plus jbc will be equal to our impedance y and here you will see we will calculate phase angle phi equal to 10 inverse bc capacitive susceptance divided by conductance and here the magnitude of this phi and this phi will be equal but this will be negative and this will be positive okay that's it thank you